Bye. So I'm gonna go to brunch. I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna do my makeup, and I'm gonna walk you through it. So I've already put my skincare on. Uh, if you guys hear birds chirping in the background, sorry, but I'm also not sorry because it sounds so pretty. So there's just a bunch of birds out my window and they're chirping and I love it. So if you can hear it, you're welcome. I've already put my hair up in a ponytail, but it's kind of disheveled already because it's humid outside and as usual, hair is frizzy. My keratin treatment faded and I just don't feel like getting another one. Um, sometimes I really do just like to embrace my frizziness. All right, I'm gonna put my hair up in a ponytail and I'm gonna put a braid extension in. I'm gonna take this Lullabelle's 34 inch braid extension. I did mention it in a previous video. I did a little tutorial on how to put it in. So I will link that somewhere here. I'm still trying to figure out how YouTube works, so if I can, it'll be here. Be right back. Oh, jeez. Okay, the one thing I will say about this braid extension is that it gets so knotted, it's impossible to unknot. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. <laughs> then I'm gonna take that wrap around piece and just wrap it around. I'm just gonna loosen the bottom so that it looks a little more natural. And I'm sure as you can imagine, I don't want all this frizz and all these flyaways. So I'm gonna take a wax stick. I have this one, it's S-N-T-E hair wax stick. It's just an all natural cruelty free wax stick. It's like a push pop. You just have to push, hold the bottom of it like, otherwise it just goes down, you see? So while you're applying it, just push the bottom. And this just gets rid of any kind of flyaways without giving you that gel finish. And then I'm just gonna take this kind of brush. It's like flat. I think it's for men. Nothing wrong with me, girl, I'm just brushing my hair. Do the same thing down here where all of these flyaways are. I'm gonna take that same wax stick on my baby hairs and then on my sideburns too. I'm still trying to figure out if this makes your hair look greasy or just slicked. And I'm gonna take this kind of comb and just comb this kind of little brush. It's like a, you can just use a toothbrush too. This is literally the same thing. And I'm just gonna brush my baby hairs into place. This widow's peak bothers me so much, so I'm just gonna split it in two and try. There we go. It is what it is. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, Please don't sue me, Mr. West. <laughs> I'm gonna take one of these kind of bobby pins and I really wanna go see the Bob's Burgers movie. Bob's Burgers. I don't know why, that's like one of my favorite cartoons. I love cartoons. I love SpongeBob. Wait, let me let me show you guys something. The Doodle Bob episode is forever one of my favorites. And this is broken, but I went to Burlington Coat Factory just to get like some house things and I saw one of these. I literally there was one left. How funny, but I broke it. I was so heartbroken when I broke it. I saw it and I was like, oh my god, I need this. <laughs> so I bought it and I broke it a week later. And I'm not going to repurchase it anywhere else because this was $3 at Burlington. I found it online for like $15 and I'm like, no, 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 not meant to be. Okay, this braid is driving me insane. Hair is done. I'm going to leave it like that and I am going to do my makeup. Oh, as you can see, um, I'm really tan right now. I did a fake tan. I did like one of those mousse tanner thingies and... I don't even know why I did it. I hate it. Since I am tan, I'm gonna have a little bit of a different routine today, but kind of still the same. So I'm gonna take my SPF. Oh, I didn't even show it. I showed this in my previous favorites video, the Nude Sticks SPF 30, the translucent one. Put this on over all of my skincare. Cowlick just always makes its way back, no matter what. Yeah, I'm not loving this braid as much as I did when I first got it. 
I am really tan, but I still want to go in with my Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I don't have a shade darker than the one that I typically use, which is shade one. I think right now it'd probably be shade three, but what are you gonna do? All right, so I mean, let's see. At the end of the day, this is really sheer, so I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference, especially if I put a darker foundation over it. Okay, we're gonna go in with our trusty Ulta Precision Foundation brush. Just blend that in. Yeah, see, it's not, it's not bad. I mean, it's definitely too light, but once I put that foundation on top of it, I'll be okay. And then the foundation I have is just I don't even know what this is. I've had this for so long and it's been my go-to tan foundation. I've actually probably had this for four years at this point. The, the, the name is even gone. I don't know what it is, but it's like a double-ended. There's foundation here and then there's contour here. No clue. I've just been keeping it because it's been the perfect shade match for when I self tan. So I'm gonna go in with that. We're gonna use our e.l.f. buffing foundation brush. Literally the best brush ever. The reason I self-tanned myself is because I started freaking out about all of the veins you were able to see on my face and on my body. Even my hand, especially when I exercise or anything like that, my veins protrude. Like you really, really see them. So I just got sick of it yesterday. I was looking at my face and I just kept seeing all of my veins and every little blemish and every little mark. It drove me insane. I never really see a difference with any tanning product I've ever used. So <laughs> you can't really say if I have a favorite or not. They all kind of leave the same finish. Then I'm gonna take, again, my uh, Smashbox by Becca under eye brightening corrector. I've been using this for so long and I still can't get the name right, but it's because it's a mouthful. Take some on a brush and just put a little bit under my eye. Not a lot, because I'm actually gonna layer two concealers right now. So I'm gonna take that one, and then I have another favorite. I can really only use this one when I'm tan because I never bought the right shade. I've, I've actually bought this like five different times and every single time I never get the right shade. So this is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is the shade Light Beige. This stuff's amazing. You can use this like a foundation too, but Clearly, I already did my foundation. I, it's been hit or miss though. Like certain shades I've gotten, I was like, mm, it's not really the right finish. I don't know why, but this one has always been like the right finish. And this is just a really glossy concealer slash foundation if you wanna use it like a foundation. Then I'm gonna go in with this sponge. I should have mentioned this in my favorites video that I just posted too. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. It is so soft and squishy and it's like perfectly tapered to get under your eyes. It's like small and narrow. Pretty. And then whatever's left on this, I'm just gonna go on top of my eyelid because no matter what I do, I have veiny eyelids. I self tanned my eyelids last night too. <laughs> Humans are crazy. Look at the shit we care about. The veins on my eyelids. Somebody, somebody check me, please. Next, I am gonna use, you know what, let's, let's use the contour that was on the other end of that foundation. Stick. Well, that's pretty. It's cool toned. I never use this, so I forget what it's like. What brush am I gonna use? What brush? I'm gonna use this contour brush that I have no idea where I got. It's not branded or anything like that, but it's just skinny. Then I'm gonna use some blush. Um, I mentioned the Rare Beauty blush in my previous video and now I'm just getting sick of it. It's really good, it's a great product for what it is. I don't want something that I really have to like work in so much. I kind of sometimes just want like a flush of color. So here I am on the hunt for <laughs> the perfect blush. I'm always on the hunt for something in my videos. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with the uh, Ilia 
blush stick in the scent Ladybird. And I'm just gonna put it, the apples, on my cheeks. This is really pretty. It's really, really mauve -y. This just hasn't been a favorite because the Stay Power isn't amazing or anything like that. I'm just gonna use a random brush, push that in. I always bring my blush a little up to my under eye because the pink really just kind of blends. And you don't want that like contrast from your concealer to your blush. Then I'm gonna take the sponge that I just used and kind of just even that out a little bit because I hate when the blush goes too far in here. Then I'm gonna go in with the Kosas Airy Cloud Set Powder. I got this because I wanted a talc-free powder. Everyone that I talk to really, really likes it. I'm still forming an opinion. It's really nice and natural, I'll give it that for sure. So I'm just gonna set my entire face with this. I'm gonna take some of the powder and just put it under my eye. Even though I don't typically do this, I'm gonna do the eyes right now. So what I'm gonna do is just take a coal pencil. This is the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in the shade 01 After Dark. I'm gonna zoom you in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put it right on my, I'm gonna tight line, then I'm gonna put it above my waterline. And I'm gonna be messy with how I put it on because I'm gonna use a brush afterwards. I don't go all the way into the corner. I kind of just do from the middle to the end. Bear with me. I tight line the entire waterline, and then when I go on my eyelid, I start from the mid to the end, raising it a little bit at the end, giving it a flick. And I have one hooded eye, just this one. This one's not hooded, so it's really annoying. I can never get them to look the same, ever. Then I'm gonna just take this random skinny brush I have. I think this is a lip brush. My camera died for the millionth time. But I just ordered a new camera, so I'm not gonna be saying this in my videos anymore. I had to utilize my time. I did this eye and I did, and I did my eyebrows because they're nothing special. I just use a pencil to fill them in. But I'm gonna do this eye on camera right now so you see how I'm doing this. So again, I'm taking the skinny brush. The Milani pencil is actually really good for like smudging out. It's really, really creamy. So it's a very workable formula. Maybe that's what it's for. You see what I mean by this eye is hooded and this one isn't? And I'm gonna really lightly feather it out in the from the mid to the corner. And then I'm gonna take a smudge, like a, a brush that's like, has a smudgy, smudge, smudger tip to it and I'm gonna bring that under my eye. I'm kind of just dragging the product that's there my lower lash line. Ooh, shit. Then I'm gonna take my disgusting Anastasia <laughs> contour powder kit. I say disgusting because it's really gross and messy, but it's a great kit. It's not talc free, but I'm just finishing it up before I purchase a talc free powder again because I don't wanna waste this one. And I'm gonna take this middle shade right here. Ooh, you saw it. And I'm kinda gonna cut the crease a little bit, very, very lightly, very lightly. Like that. And then whatever's left, I just kind of put under the eye. Then I'm gonna take that same powder and I'm gonna contour my nose with it. And I'm just using like a, a buffing concealer brush by Ulta Beauty. Any narrow brush works. <laughs> that is the most crooked nose contour ever, but it's okay. I'm gonna take it again. Sorry if I'm rushing, my camera's gonna die again and I'm tight on time. Under my lip. Above. Makes your lip look a little bit big. And then I'm gonna take a brush. I'm just gonna go in with the foundation brush that I used before and kind of just blend that in. Pretty. That's really pretty. All right, let's zoom out. 
I'm going to go in with some mascara. Whenever you put mascara on, you want to make sure you're shaking it back and forth while you're pulling up because that's going to give you the fullest lash. And I'm using the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just going to put this on both lashes. I'll be right back. Okay, mascara is done. The look would not be complete without a brow gel just to fluff up your eyebrows, but I don't have one that I like at the moment. I did order the Kosas Laminating Brow Gel because somebody commented on another video of mine recommending it, so thank you so much. I ordered it and I'm waiting for it to come in. Let's see. I'm gonna take the same bronzer that I used on my eyelids and to contour my nose and I'm just gonna warm up my face a little. I think it's because the Kosas powder I used, it's just not the right, not the right shade, but I'm gonna just go over my whole face with this bronzer just for a little warm. I'm gonna top it off with some blush. I'm gonna use my favorite Hello Halo Blush Lighter. It's like a highlighting blush. I don't really go in with that shade. I mainly go in with that pink shade. It's so pretty. I love that. I really, truly love that. Put a little on the nose, just a little. Some on the forehead. And then I'm gonna highlight. I don't want a very in-your-face highlighter, so I'm gonna use the Say Star Glow. Say, say, say. I love this brand. They're fantastic. And this is a such a natural gloss. It kind of reminds me of if you've used the MAC strobe cream in the past. Um, it reminds me of that, except it's cruelty-free and Say actually does so many impactful things, I think. Their formulas are great, they're eco-friendly. I think they're a very standout brand, so I'm excited to try more products by them. I'm gonna put a little on the tip of my nose, just gloss it up. Really beautiful. And then if you want kind of like a wet finish, sometimes I go in with the Makeup by Mario master secret glow it's literally it's dirty i'm sorry it's literally like a face gel it's just like a clear gel but it gives you a gloss i don't even know if you can see that on camera but it's for that wet skin finish why not final step is lip liner i think this is a milani lip liner as you can see i've gotten a lot of use out of it. Oh, it's shade four, and that's the only thing that it says. Zero four, that's the only thing I can see. Let's go. Wow, this is tiny. And just fill in the entire lip with it. That's pretty. I forgot about this, even though I got so much use out of it. I don't think I've used it in a while. I use my finger to kind of blend it out. But yeah, that is the look. That's my brunch look. I'm going to I'm going to stop it there. Unfortunately, my braid is really really frizzy. It's raining outside and my windows are all wide open. Yikes. Nothing can combat my frizz. So, whatever. It's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm going to leave it as it is. That is the look. Really glowy, really bronzy, a good intense smoky eye, a smoky wing, I should say. So I'm just gonna wear this white shirt, but it's not just any white shirt. This is by IMGia and it has these, this little detail here. And I like to twist it inward and just poke my thumbs through like that. And then the back has all those details. And then the jeans are just baggy from that brand Garage. Gotta give a quick shout out to my socks. It's Prison Mike. I'm Prison Mike. I think it says, and I never got caught either. No. And I never got caught neither. The shoes I'm gonna pair it with are these Doc Martens. These are the Jaden boot, they're velour. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh my God. <laughs>